Hey guys, and welcome back to Punch Club. So, a uh, bit of a heads up, I'm currently operating on about three hours worth of sleep, and two cups of coffee, I'm on my third and fourth right now. Uh, third and fourth because it's a big fucking mug and I get two cups in it. But uh, yes, yeah, so if you're wondering why, uh, we won the last fight, didn't we? Yeah, we picked up a, a thing. Ah, we get to fight the Mighty Bruce. Uh, so yes, if you're wondering why uh, I might stop talking for a, a couple of seconds or something like that, then it's probably because I'm taking a sip of coffee. So, FYI, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna commentate on my sips of coffee because uh, unfortunately I don't have the ability to do that because there will be a liquid in my mouth and words don't come out very well when you try that. Tried it before, big fucking mess. Had to get a new mic. Anyway, that's that's a joke. That's, that's a joke. Don't worry about it. Uh, right. What's the I need to eat my seven pizzas and seven. Mm, that doesn't give any health back. Let's just have a meat. Ding dong. Right, let's fight the mighty Berus. The mighty Berus. Sixteen agility, stamina, and three strength. It's not endurance, so I should be pretty fucking good. Like I should be pretty, pretty able to beat the shit out of him. That was like three really fast kicks. All of those dodges, and it took me one punch to knock to do the same amount of combo. Hey, if we can't fucking hit him, there we go. Fucking hell. Next, fight. It's like two hits, man. There we go. <laughs> uh. I love it. I love it. I just love it. Then we've got Ryu and uh, Ken and Ryu, don't we? Oh no, Kurt Kogan first and then Ken and Ryu. Right, well, we need to... Another two days, more action movies and just keep fucking going. That's all we've really got to do. Just have five of them. And head downstairs and start building up. Strength, stamina, etc, etc. Hopefully we'll be able to get 21 and 11 by the next time we need to do a movie. Alrighty. Alrighty tighty. Ah. Uh, God. Absolutely fucking knackered. But uh, yeah, like I was I was up quite late last night because this this video that I'm recording right now is going to be coming out in a couple of hours. Like I, I recorded it a couple of hours before it's due to come out, and yeah. So yesterday, obviously, the we recorded the CK2 stuff, the the CK2 multiplayer stuff, and that took like a lot of the day. The night before, we were recording board game night, and I got a bit too drunk afterwards talking to Avak about a load of shit. Uh, so I slept in for quite a while, woke up just before we were supposed to be recording the CK2 stuff, recorded the CK2 stuff with them, and just after it I got my community guidelines strike, which, uh, quick update on that, it seems to be progressing. I've been told that I should expect it to be resolved within about 72 hours, either way. So either resolved as in me removed, or resolved as in, as in my appeal being rejected. So, we'll, uh, we'll see exactly what happens there, I suppose. Alright, we're on day 104, and we need to try and get 21 and 11, that'd be good. Uh, so yeah, so, after all of that shit, it was about 2, 1, 1 a.m. by the time I'd finished fucking around with all of that crap, and... Then I still had to record all my videos for today, today being the, the day this episode comes out. So I just stayed up until like 5am recording uh, enough videos that I could get enough time to sleep, record, upload and process etc. So I could get enough time to sleep and uh, get up and record some more because I've got another multiplayer video today, uh, multiplayer recording session today which is with Aruma recording the Some Assembly Required Factorial campaign. Ah, it's fucking hectic man. That is hectic. We need some food. And also we're gonna get to like 111 pretty pretty easily. Right, let's have some lamb and 
There we go. I don't care if I use just a bit too much meat. That's what she said? No, I don't think that works, Cedro. I don't, I don't quite think that works, mate. Uh, anyway. Let's go up to 21 and then we'll go and do the movie. Easy peasy. Going to do the movie now so I don't need to worry about the, the days ticking or any of that nonsense. Show to a movie. Oh, against ninjas. Has to be ninjas. Gets mimic technique. Do the opponent's damage back to him at the beginning of the attack phase. That's crazy. That's crazy against me. Thankfully I don't, uh, wow. That was a lot of damage you just done to me there. 44 with a kick? Are you fucking real? What even is this? 2, 10 and 10. At least that only takes one stamina for me to do those punches, if I miss. He doesn't have mimic techniques. Uppercuts are seven, but regular punches are just one if I miss. There we go. That didn't work out too bad, that one. Next fight. One, thirteen, and six. Hopefully I've got enough stamina that his hits don't really hurt that much. Yeah. Wasn't too bad. Knocked him out pretty easily. Considering that these guys are supposed to be my 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 ultimate uh, counter, the high agility guys that can just dodge all my attacks. I'm not doing too great, although I think I might get knocked out by this guy. By the old red band. Oh, knocked him down. There's one little tipple. There we go. I'm going to stop there because I've got 53 HP. But uh, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Yay, 700 bucks and 400 rep. How are we doing here? What do we need? Uh, maybe another one of them and we'll be sorted to fight Kulk Kogan. Alright. Uh, let's grab the energy drinks and not the caviar, we don't need that. And the coffee. And start training again. Right, where's our skill tree? We definitely finished Way of the Bear, didn't we? Yeah, we got Die Hard and that's what I was after. Uh, and then basic skills, next one's going to be Meat Runner, which is shit for us. And then we need to get a backhand punch, which is also shit. So it'll be a while before we get anything that's going to work for us. A.K.A. Way of the Turtle. But, I mean, like, there's nothing else for us to do while- there's nothing else for us to do with the, uh, the skill points while we're working our way through this. we have a little look at Way of the Turtle and find out exactly why, like, what path we're going to go down Way of the Turtle when we get there. It'll probably be a while before we actually get there, but... You know what, actually? Let's, um... Head to... The gym. And do a sparring fight with Silver. Basically, whenever I whenever I do a movie, I'll make sure that I do a sparring fight afterwards. Come on, just hit him. There we are. Jesus. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at way the turtle. See what way we'll go. Uh. Hmm. If active, reduce your chance to let your opponent's attack phase begin. Depends on your energy pool. Oh, that's pretty good. If active gives you a chance, gives you a chance of your opponent skipping his attack phase when hit by any of your strikes. You know. Uh, that's crap for me. Heavy workout's crap. You receive less damage, more stamina you have. That'd be all right, but it's like it's all the way down this top area. Whereas I'd much rather head, like, paw punch energizer down, or head, that's not head, but, um, head, but hard block meat runner. And I can get heavy workout. Air strike received, speeds up your energy regen. That'd be nice to get though, but good sneakers too would also be pretty good. I wonder what happens if I get that. Uh, I would like that, that'd be great. I don't care about all of these, I just want the passives. 
Like, that's it. I just, w just want the passives. If I can get the passives, I'll be happy. Kick Dinner. Defense modifier effective. Any light based attacks received will deal less damage. Huh, that's funny. Right, let's go downstairs and work out some more. Um, can't remember. Can't remember what I was on. Let's just jump on this one. Because <laughs> we're going to need stamina. Yeah, obviously we're going to be able to keep up um, 21 and 11. I don't really see... Like, people say this game is a bit of a grind, like... Alright, this bit is slightly grindy, but it's not too bad. I mean, there's always progress. Which, I feel like games get to be a bit grindy when you don't... You can't see the progress. So if you're doing something over and over again, and it's like... I don't know. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like this game isn't too bad with the grind. Because it is progressing, like, everything's progressing. And I can watch it all progress. I don't know, that just seems... That seems a lot better to me than, than some things. Like, Lineage 2... That was fucking grindy. Like, there was a lot of grind in that game. But, at the same time... It was difficult to, to see yourself progressing. Because you were just going for a, a small number of really rare drops. Or you were trying to grind up your levels. Which was like tiny, minuscule amounts of experience. And you were doing that over a long time. I can understand like people complaining about that being grindy because it was. It was really fucking grindy. But this is like me. It's not too bad. Uh, I don't have enough food at all. This chef's just stopped making me food now. He's like, nah, fuck it, I'm on a strike. Right, a poo. Oh, there's only three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Alright, back to the mansion. So people, people say I can just go to Chinatown and regain my health. I don't have Chinatown. Which is why I use the pizzas. <laughs> Chinatown is 70 bucks to regain my health. I suppose that is better, depending on how much health you're missing, that's better. What am I at? And that again. There we go, just needed six. And let's do another movie, please. Fight! These dodges, man. This guy does like does some damage with that. Jesus. I don't think I'll get past the second guy. Or very far past the second guy, should I say? Fight. Depending on what my HP is at, I'm probably gonna just have to stick with this guy. That mimic techniques on that first one. I think that's what was dealing the, the crazy damage when he was kicking me. Was mimic techniques. Come on. No? Nah. I'm gonna have to stop after I knock this guy out. If I knock this guy out. That heart didn't really help me though. I wonder if that's because it was at the end of the round. Knock me down, mate. Yeah, it was. It was because it was at the end of the round. That's a bit buggy. Just fucking hit him! Wow. That full round was spent with me missing him. There we go. Jesus. Take a prize. I feel like I need to focus a bit on my agility here, but then that'd be cheating. Because that's not my build. Right, what have we got to fight Kulk Kogan? Because... Uh, so taking taking that a bit early basically cost us that. Let's throw a party, sure. Ah, I'll need to have my energy drinks.
There we go. Now we'll do this just so that we can uh, just so that we can finish off this thing. There we go. Just so we can fight Colt Kogan. Uh, right. So we could get Meat Runner. Otherwise, it's like backhand high punch. All right. There's Meat Runner. Okay, uh, I want to head over to the gym right now and spar with Silver. Fight! <laughs> Jesus. Uh, whenever that happens, it's like they're just sitting staring at each other. It's like, why are you, why are you not doing something? Just fucking do it! Uh, I want to go to the shop, pick up more food. Yeah, it's nine bucks, so I can recover 70 health with just under 70 bucks. So it's not really saving me that much money. 47, so let's have six of them. Better drink some of my coffee before it goes cold. I got I had it. Mmm, delicious. Delicioso. Right, let's fight Kulk Kogan. Fucking massive, man. 15, 10, and 13. Shouldn't be too bad. He's got Berserker as well. He's also got Infinite Energy, which is like top of stamina. Uh, the top of the stamina tree. Well, Col Kogan's been knocked the fuck out. We should get like a reputation bonus for that. Like, he didn't even get a punch off and he got knocked the fuck out. Jeez. That's meant as fucking absolutely crazy. All right, let's get back to training, I suppose. Uh, I wonder if you get a bonus. Like, I wonder if there's an inherent bonus from going to the gym. I don't think so. It doesn't seem to make any sense if there was, because this is all the exact same stuff that's in the gym. Like literally the exact same stuff. Shame there's no boxes for me to kick around here. Uh, it'd be nice if there was like a an at the gym bonus to working out or something to to give you some sort of reason to go there. Ah, coffee. My lifeblood. Like I said in one of the the previous episodes, actually, I think it was the previous episode. We lost a bit of stats there, but that was because we were we done those stupid fucking. Advertisements or threw, we threw a party. Yeah, we threw a party. So the issue with throwing a party is that it takes time. Maybe that's where people are getting like this thing about this game being grindy, is that uh, they're throwing parties and stuff like that. When you throw a party, it takes time to get you your stats. Whereas when you do the movies, it doesn't take any time at all. And obviously, the more time you spend, the less time you're spending training, and it's actively detrimental because obviously, at the end of the day you lose your stats. Or you lose some of your stats at least. You need to get off your ass and start cooking more, mate. Look, all I've got is caviar. What the fuck is this? I wish I could ask him, like, or rather, tell him what to cook. It's supposed to be my chef. The fuck, man? I want coffee, and I want lamb, and that's it. I think it's, I think it's lamb. Yeah, I can't remember. I think we were on that. That's all I want. Coffee and lamb. All day, or a day. Hmm, I was just thinking there, I could lock... It's day, day 108, I need to go. I could lock, um... Stamina at 12, I think it is, that stamina locks, that the next lock is. Or is it 11? I can't remember. And then just go for agility, but... Like I says, I kind of feel like it'd be cheaty if I build my agility any higher. Not cheaty, but... Against the spirit of the build. It was supposed to be a high strength, high stamina build because we'd done a high agility build. I know that we went like it's a different path, obviously. It's so rough the amount you lose at the end of the day. I wish there was a fucking s skill or a stat or something I could take for that. 
Uh, right, but that's all we've got time for in this episode. So in the next episode, we'll be doing the next movie, and hopefully we'll be getting to fight Rio. But, as I always ask at the end of the episodes, do drop a like down below if you've enjoyed this episode. It does help me out a great deal, and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But, I've been CG, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.